Okay, so now I've come to give a loving message to my babies, to my sons of men, to my daughters of Zion, to my children of Israel. This is for y'all. And this is called Remember Who You Are. Okay? Because I know my tone has been a little bit tough, but let me tell you something. I want y'all to think as parents what you would do. You see your children about to run off the cliff. You're like, boy, get your butt over here. Nah. That, that, that's what you're seeing me do. You think it's aggressive. You think it's angry because they made you feel like wrath is something crazy here or something never to be felt. But righteous wrath is what, what the day of the Lord is. But either way, I digress. Um, I have to give this loving message to y'all because y'all don't know how special you are, how beautiful you are. And who you really are outside of the poverty that these shapeshifters, host of heavens, Edomites, Esau's have imposed on you, my special babies. And I want you to think of me as like Rebecca to Jacob. Babies, I'm trying to tell you, we're going to Zion, okay? So as I say that, I know how my babies are, so I'm going to give you precepts, of course. But I'm also going to bridge it into reality, into making you remember who you are. Because I got this comment, and I, and I, and I felt it in my soul said to me um this is not reality what what you're talking about is not reality yet your whole lives are based on a spiritual book if you don't understand it in the spirit my dears or understand the light that is within you how can you ever remember who you are see they tell you that genius is about the measure of iq here but you do know that genius is about the spirit that comes with you in the body you know, as we live our lives here on earth. You know, as the end of Esau is coming. Bye, Esau. And Jacob follows into eternal life. Okay? And I know y'all see me and you see a young person, but I told y'all before, I'm an ancient soul. I've been doing this a long time. And let me tell you something, I haven't been doing it well. And But here I am in obedience to God, and I'm here to tell you the truth thereof, of who you are. So, my dears, I know this world has made you believe that all you are is the trauma that you have. They tell you that you're black. Black lives matter. You know, as the, the people that look like they ain't never seen sunlight go on the streets to go march with y'all to tell you black lives matter. Well, when they do that, let me tell you something. Because if you don't understand this world in the spiritual, then you're going to get lost, my babies. When those people do that, they're not talking about you. They are talking about the black lives, the dark matter. That is not of God, but of the prince of this world. That's the dark, the black matter, the black lives matter that they talk to you about, which they take over your pain and your trauma to push their fight in the spiritual aspect. See, beyond what you can see is something way greater. Because I know as humans, all we know is what we experience here and we see it. But understand that the battle of God is much more intricate and we are just like collateral at this point but as we are his creations his beings we need to move as such imagine he's the head captain and he's telling y'all yo move like this we in war right now you're my kids i'm trying to take care of you and you going off and running off and doing all these stuff he gonna get mad and that's why y'all in punishment this world is played by the numbers, the matria. These news stories that you see, they are only, that you think of it as only a political move to push whatever political agenda, but beyond that, it's a spiritual move. It's a spiritual means, and it's a spiritual aspect. Imagine, your enemies have had the same access to the book that you have. You don't think they would try to figure out a way to infiltrate you? Shalom. You don't think they would figure out a way to debase your value so much so? That any scrap they give you, you'll take. This is called monarch programming. This is called what they do in the Freemasonic lodges. This is what they are doing worldwide. Prince of Is. They beat, they beat, they beat until you are broken in spirit. So that they can crawl in the Jezebel spirit. And take over in pride of life. How does that go into reality now? So, you're in punishment. The people that have you in punishment want to keep you. They want to capture you. To not make you go to your God. So how do they do that? How do they do that in a way where you can then think it's love. But it is not in fact love. 
but so much hatred of you that they want to keep you away from who can protect you, really. So what they do is they bring that pride of life into you. And while you were in punishment, you have to remember, it is not by the power or wills of these people running around here. Absolutely not. What is a prince to the king of all kings and the lord of lords? Oh, please. He's just doing his bidding. Because he's trying to get his babies ready, his children ready to become sons of men, to become true light beings. Remember what an angel is. They are ministering spirits to us. But men, we rise, we ascend. That is a point of you. And this is why I always say, remember who you are. If all you know is your trauma, then you spit in the face. Of the punishment that God put you in. See here. They made pride of life so much so that you spit in the faces of his punishment. You take pride in the measures of God's punishment to you. What does that mean? For example, languages, culture, all of that. You take pride in But how quickly do you forget that in fact it was a punishment? Because again, the children were lacking obedience into what God willed on them. So much so that they, they, they thought they could build a tower. To go reach up and become like God. You say in your heart you want to become like God. You rise above the stars. And he divided your languages. Yet you take pride in it now. Now it becomes why you're this. You're this special person. Pride of life. For example, I want you, I want you to think about it in reality. You got a little baby. Well, a child who won't mind you. Who won't listen. You say, come here. Beat him. Beat him. Put you in punishment. Go to the wall. Go to the wall right now. They start laughing. Key, key, key. Joking. And then not only when you take them off of punishment, they go and do it 10 times more. Backslide in Israel, treacherous Judah. That is what it is. You have spit in the face of punishment and taken on the, the spirit of the Jezebel, the, the prince of ears. Because you don't understand why you were in punishment. The punishment was to break the pride out of y'all. The very pride of life that you seem to have. And whether it's in the works of your hands or what you perceive as blessings, whether it's your children. God give it and God take it away. Always remember where your power generates from. In this AI world, in the world of tech, we charge what we think is our lives. We make what we think are our lives. But we forget who made us. And this is why when we are away from God, we die. We don't live. This is a matter of remember who you are. Light beings, men. When since did beasts have dominion over man? Oh, dogs. When did you become dogs? Moving like violence. Pants hanging off your butts. Pride up in the air. Nose up in the air. I'm this. I'm that. I'm this. Boy, if you don't sit down. Girl, take several seats. Learn why you are here and why you are in punishment. There is nothing grand about this. And you need to understand that. Because everything that you do here, your houses, your ministries, your businesses can be blown down by the breath of God. You know that because you see natural disasters in reality, have you not? In a moment, your years of works goes down to the ground. And that's what it is. So why I tell you remember who you are is because right now the dogs are in charge. The, the ones who have nothing that got to beat their heads into walls and do all this other stuff just to say they have wealth. What's wealth if it goes away? And uh, for dogs, I'm like Cruella de Vil. And if my kids want to act like dogs, well, I'll beat a dog like I'm Cruella de Vil. And that's it. That's what it is. That's that aggression that you see. Because you need, you reproof those who you love. But those, y'all, y'all said, let them do what they want to do. Thems, they do what they want to do. They're going to be gone. They're going to know my wrath. Day of the Lord. But what are, what are the biggest errors of what you, where you don't remember who you are is that you went away from the obedience of God. And the obedience of God told you that he sent his son. His son. Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever you want to call him. He sent his son. Because it is by sin that these powers, these dogs of this world thought they could have you condemned. Because that's how Satan works. Get them their word. Noticed that on the seventh year is when Satan slithered in and caused man to fall by ignorance. Notice that this year is when you're all of a sudden sought out to get all this land. Land that Bill Gates owns. 
The same man that want to block out the sun. You know, the same thing that y'all could take pride in for your melanin and all of that. Yeah, he wants to block it out. And he owns those lands that it gave y'all. But I digress. Yeah. And y'all still don't recognize why y'all in punishment. Because you don't remember who you are. Because you don't remember that you are God's chosen people. Now, I want to talk about movies. Because I have to do this. This one is specifically for Sons of Man. Because my heart is for you. In the movies... I want you to look at who they depict as black superheroes. They haven't been much, right? But I want you to think about what they have portrayed. Because as y'all say, y'all can only understand reality and not in a spiritual book. You don't understand the spirit, but I digress. They're, they had two main ones. They had Luke Cage and they had Black Panther. Now, Black Panther went big. It went viral. But let me tell you about it and the truth thereof. Remember in the Old Testament how... Samson, how all these great kings were actually powered, not by some outside source, but by the spirit within that was of the most high, the creator of the heavens and the earth. That is how they were powered. But notice how Black Panther movie that went, did extremely well in the box offices, what kind of superhero he was. They were only powered by technology, which is why they moved into creating this black antichrist here who will they say with christ but they're using that to push you into the avenue they want you to turn on the big main black superhero could only be powered by outside sources by technology things of the creations of the hands of man but in the bible the spiritual book that y'all claim to know so much tells you that your true power comes from within from the spirit of god see if you only understand reality, you only understand what has been imposed on you. Because this reality that you see is only an impo imposition on you. You know that because you have to follow man-made laws, right? You have to operate within a man-made matrix. Whether you're your own boss or not, you still got to sign some paperwork so that someone can give you the red light or green light, right? When you don't understand your true essence and who you are, you will think you are a black panther, because you need technology in order to power you without turning to God. Notice how they create the white superhero, Superman. He's, in, he's powered just as is. His powers don't come from an outside source. And he's the ultimate hero. He can fly. He can do all of that. But does that really reflect, reflect reality? Superheroes? See, the true superhero is powered by God. And if you are his chosen people and you turn away from who really powers you, in a world that takes your light out of you so that it can live? Well, dears, you've chosen the host of heaven. False idols who need you to sacrifice means of this world to them in order to gain something. I want you to think about the one true God. The one true God. He didn't ask for your offerings. He don't like that. He wants you to be obedient, to humble yourselves, to lament, to cry, to get rid of the pride. And know that you need him. He even said it within Old, Old Testament. He said, no, no, no. Don't let them go out because they're going to think it's them. They need to know that it's me powering them. The children of Israel. Don't you remember who you are? Man, why would you? As sons of men. Because I know what's going on now. I know that Jacob is this now. And you're about to go fight the whiteies. Please. And you don't realize you are just running into a trap. But then again, your only power could come from God. And if he's not your captain, your leader, which is the son he sent, then you will die by the sword. This is why I tell you, remember who you are. Daughters of Zion, remember who you are. You are more than what the fleshly body offers. You are more than child bearers. You are, in fact, supposed to be wisdom. And truth to your husbands in a world where they know that you are that the men are the head, so they come to chop off the head, beheading. So they need you as the body to give them the spirit. Daughters of Zion, you are more than the curse, the curse of the pain given to you to bear children. You are more than that. When you see your husbands, your sons going off into battle, a battle that you know is not what God truly wants. And you don't say nothing. Then you are not a wife. You are not a, a true woman of God. 
Because a true woman of God stands on the foundation of truth and helps her husband, helps her mate to love fellow men and to love each other and not be worried about, oh, I'm, I'm breaking the law. All of y'all are breaking the law according to this Bible. Every last one of y'all are breaking that Moses law. Stop the lies. This is why I get mad with y'all. Because y'all be running up on here. Oh, be quiet. You're a woman. Yeah, as if you follow all them, the, the regulations in this Bible. Shut up. Yeah. And the obedience of God, the obedience of God is to understand who he sent. And that is the true obedience. That none of y'all seem to go. It's the falling away. See, the falling away, they made you feel like it's a, a battle per se, like a fight. That's why y'all going to run out and go fulfill scripture. That's not really what it says. The falling away is y'all running away from God. The falling away of what the truth was. And going into your own evil imaginations. Because you don't remember who you are. Remember you are light in darkness. Remember you are men amongst beasts. Remember you are a child of God. And not a child of a heathen. Remember that. 